Friday Phone Jacks with Cosmo and Lauren on Y107. It's the Y107 Morning Show, and, uh, you know, I haven't, we haven't seen Gretchen in a little while for our yeah. Friday Phone Jack. She's been off on extended break, a little vacation for Gretchen. Well, no worries, because a guy named Tony messaged us, Okay, and his um, local Chinese restaurant, his very favorite one, he's become kind of friends with the owner, Okay, but he said the guy's a little high strung. Oh. So we were like, well, that's the perfect person to phone Jax. So Gretchen. Here she comes. Hello. This is Lee. Hi. Are you the manager? Uh, I'm the owner. Oh, well, Faith. That's great. Uh, I, I'm calling to talk to you about a little problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Do you have an issue with your food or service? No, the food was great. It's some of the best Chinese food I've had. We come in there all the time. I eat there so oh, much. Oh, well, thank you. I, yeah, I really appreciate that, but I'm, you said you had a problem. Yes. Yeah. Well, at the end of the meal, you know, you always get a fortune cookie. <laughs> right. Hopefully, yes. Okay, and I tape those fortunes up on my refrigerator for like a little inspiration, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, that's, that's great. Yeah. So, like, I'm looking at them right now. They're usually something like, you are very talented in many ways. Okay, that's, that's nice. Or, oh, here's one. Happiness comes from a good life. I got that one at your restaurant just like a while back. <laughs> okay. Um, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not sure where you're going with this at all. You said you had a problem with the restaurant? Yeah. Here's the problem. Sometimes the fortunes in your cookies are nice little things, but sometimes they're predictions. <laughs> they're what? Their predictions. Let me read you one I got last summer. Let me see here. It says, uh, a very attractive stranger has a message for you. Okay. Well, what does that mean? I've gotten some messages since then, and some are from attractive people, I guess. But very <laughs> attractive people? I don't think so. So, do you think I missed it? Or Look, are they coming? I'm, I'm or... not sure. I, I couldn't say. <laughs> Okay, come on. You're giving out these fortune cookies. Don't you stand by the fortunes? I'm sitting around here waiting for a message from an attractive stranger. What kind of message is it? Is it an email? Will I know when I get it? Or are they going to be like, hi, I'm attractive and I have a message? Is this, re- can, is this, is, are you being serious right now? Are you, are you really asking me this? You're damn straight I am. You're giving out the fortunes and I got one that promised me a very attractive stranger. <laughs> no, yeah, nobody... Nobody can really promise you an attractive stranger. These are it's it's a fortune cookie. They're random. They're complete. It's just a it's a fun thing to do. That's it. I I I have to go. All right. I thought these fortunes were filled with some kind of mystical powers. I've been putting them here on my refrigerator. Look now. Last year I opened a fortune that said you will be invited to a fun event, and a few Ooh. months later I got an invitation to my cousin's wedding. Amazing, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, sure. I, it could also just be a complete coincidence, sure. uh, you know? Well, okay, here's the one that I really called you about. I got it at your restaurant just a couple weeks ago. Uh, it says, mm. you will receive a large sum of money. Mm. So... Okay. Th- that that was in your fortune cookie. That was in my fortune cookie. So my question to you is, where's my money? Do you just send it in the mail, or do I need to come pick it up? And what do you consider large? You, I, I think you're completely misunderstanding the purpose of these fortune cookies. They're just, if you don't have a problem with my restaurant, the fortune cookie is just a fun, we don't make those here. We don't print those here. It's, they're just a fun thing that we give away. That's, can I go, please? Well, yes, a large sum of money would be fun, but I haven't seen it yet. So <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Lee? I'm not going to do anything about it. I don't, I don't have any money for you. That's not my responsibility. You, it's a fortune cookie. You open them up, you read the goofy fortune to your friends, and you move on. Most people don't even hang them on their refrigerators. They throw them away. So I need to get back to work, okay? So can I say in bed after each fortune? <laughs> You can do whatever you want to do. Okay, so then when do I get my large sum of money in bed? <laughs> Look, I've got. I'm. I'm. I'm just. Go, I'm going to hang up now, right? I've had this restaurant for a very long time, and I've. I've never had anyone call with such a ridiculous question about a, a stupid fortune from the cookie. This is. If you got a problem with the service or the food? That's one thing. There's nothing I can do about the cookies. Okay. Well, just so you know. 
I plan to alert the media about this. <laughs> I have a very good friend who works at a radio station, and they're going to hear okay, good. all you about call, it. You call your friend. You call your radio friend. They will tell you you're crazy, too. This is This is complete insanity. Well, I am crazy, and I'm on the radio, Lee. We're calling from uh, Y107, the morning show. I'm Lauren. This is the phone, Jax. <laughs> Lee. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Are you? Are, are, I don't even know. Are you, are you kidding? Is that a joke? Are you kidding right uh, no, now? No, that is, that is very true in bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> now I know what Tony meant when he said that Lee was a little high strung. <laughs> Friday, Bone Jacks with Cosmo and Lauren on Y107.